You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is our latest Hawkeye reaction. Now, before we get into this week's episode, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. So, of course, as always, for Hawkeye, I am joined by my co host, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. <laughs> we are back. We survived for another week, and we are now officially halfway through this series. <laughs> were we officially halfway through last week? Well, because what? Uh, so we finished three episodes, and before yeah. we start this one, I guess technically, like right now, <laughs> the end of last week and the beginning of this week, we're at like the the halfway point before we start <laughs> tonight's episode. But we're we're about to start episode four. Last week on Hawkeye, uh, <laughs> yeah. Echo made her actual debut. She kind of made it. it, but she made it last yeah. week. She definitely made an impression. <laughs> and we loved her. She was having to track down Clint and um, Kate as they escaped from her and her tracksuit mafia's <laughs> grasps. <laughs> And we learned that potentially Clint as Ronin killed her father, but we'll see. Maybe there's more to that. True. We also saw a very large and ominous cameo hmm? uh, last week. Maybe. <laughs> who Unconfirmed may or, as of now. <laughs> may be coming back. We'll see. Uh <laughs> Listen, guys, if you're watching this, like, the night that we re release it or, you know, just a week, y'all know that Kevin Feige's been playing in our faces all fucking week with this Daredevil shit and Vincent D'Onofrio and Vincent D'Onofrio. Ever since the ending of last week's episode, he's been playing in our faces, too. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if there's not a bomb drop this episode... I'm sick. <laughs> Kevin Feige has made an enemy out of me. That's what I'll say. <laughs> but well, Yelena! <laughs> maybe Yelena, who knows? Uh, we got like a picture of an upcoming cameo this episode. Um, so we'll see. Marketing is so funny, by the way. They're like, ooh, who is this? And then they give them like <laughs> her an extremely accurate uh, costume to her co uh, comic thing. So yeah. I'm like, Wonder who it could be, you know. I don't know. <laughs> but we also got a little bit of like deaf Hawkeye uh, without the hearing aid last episode, uh, led to like some communication times between he, Clint, and Kate. And he's at least sticking around uh, to try to help her solve all of this. I got the, got the mommy. And, and the the boyfriend issue going on over here. We got the, the murder of the uncle going on over here. And then we got the tracksuit mafia and Echo going on. So I've got a few different things going on. And as we heard, uh, another problem, most likely, incoming. So we'll see what we get to in episode four of Hawkeye. So let's go ahead and cut out all this, blah, 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 and jump into episode number four. <laughs> Oh, Shang Chi's in it now. Oh, 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 we're picking up right where we left off. And why is there an Avenger in my dining room? Hi. Appropriate reaction. <laughs> oh, there's two hours this time. Has there always been two hours? I thought there was only one. Ah, I don't know. Jack, you're so real. <laughs> Maybe he's not so bad. We'll see. <laughs> that was very positive. Kate smile, huh? <laughs> well, I guess I'm just gonna have to trust everyone at this table to do what's right. Who? 
Can I see you out? I'll get my coat. Jack. Ms. Vera. That was a little villainous. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Uh, don't speak on her. Please don't. <laughs> so you forget this case? I can't do that. But what I can do is ensure that your daughter stays safe. Okay. Why did that feel a little maybe Hawkeye is going to sacrifice himself at the end of the series for her at some point? Hmm. I'm also the girl who thought that Bucky was for sure dying in Falcon Winter Soldier, so don't listen to me. <laughs> you did. You did. You had all of Twitter ablaze. I was the only one running that <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh, man. But also, Miss Vera, why are you wanting him to drop the whole thing? Could you go with that, please? Ooh. She looks good, though. And who are you calling Miss Thing? I was too busy talking about how good she looks to notice that she was. When me and you said that that kid wasn't in the other movies, people literally posted so many receipts of him being in Age of Ultron Endgame every time kids his kids have been shown in the movies. Um, oh, look at Lucky. Is there no question about Lucky? How could you question that face? I just felt like this mom would be like, where did this dog come from, by the way? I kind of live for him. <laughs> I misjudged you. <laughs> People are all wrong. Okay, sir, we we're sorry. I was wrong with the mustache, too, because now it's, like, kind of working <laughs> for me. Suddenly, new eyes have been opened. <laughs> Not the briars. <laughs> Clint, you're so real for that. <laughs> See, how could you not have a complex, though? Like, being on a team with, like, an Asgardian demigod, and you have to, like, tape... <laughs> Uh, frozen goods to your joints after a little battle here and there. <laughs> In the meantime, we should celebrate. It's a movie marathon night, right? Aww. Mm, that's sweet. Show for him as long as money can sell for him. And Jack Stan is the CEO. Ooh. Not the Thanos mug. <laughs> Where are his little reindeer antlers? <laughs> That's right? the real question. I know they're coming. Why would I ever want to use a boomerang on? Give yourself some time. <laughs> yeah, well, if the whole trick of the boomerang is in your bag and all. Dodge. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> I'm crying over them getting shit faced and <laughs> doing this. Oh, it's not a net. Okay, so Yelena is definitely coming this episode. This is the second net drop. Like, <laughs> yeah. She's the best of the worst. I'm not trying to cry. Clint, just go and like cuddle Lucky right now. <laughs> well, yes. Oh, <laughs> funny you should say that. It's you, it's me. So what is this Rolex his wife was talking about? Right? 
I would have wore an ugly sweater. Like if I knew, you know, you, <laughs> no offense, no offense, Anna, but if I knew that you was coming on here with them looking like this. You're the odd one out. No. Uh, there he is. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's that flashback there. That son is. Uh... Oh. <laughs> This isn't funny. <laughs> oh, shit. We're sitting here having like a serious traumatizing flashback laughing because they showed the damn sun. We're kikiing about the sun and Clint is having trauma. <laughs> He's like, let's go. I'm done with this. He's so real. Oop. Where is Maya? I miss her. Don't get me wrong, I think they're boners. Because we've been working on the one. A sexy doormat. You know what my boss wants. Which is. Knock my gun back. Yeah, give me a second. <laughs> oh yes, thank you so much. Okay, I low-key really like these little LARPing people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're cute. <laughs> My wife gave me this bag that's embroidered. It says bombshell. I, I, I can see that. Oh god, Disney with the He'll get it back to the you. sneak. <laughs> the sneak. <laughs> the representation. <laughs> I better not see no articles. Trace. That's enough activism for today. <laughs> And then I got the Rolex, maybe, or you know what? Maybe Dwayne's right. Maybe we just completely set ourselves up to look a fool today. I feel as if you're correct. <laughs> and just know, Kevin Feige, you've made an enemy out of me. <laughs> <laughs> We're good, ma'am. Stay, stay here. Keep talking to the Avenger in your ears. Stay away from me. You're in danger, girl. <laughs> Who? Oh. Clint Barton wife Laura Dollarzyva is working in some creepery suspense type sneak. Elena? Get out of here now. What? Why? That light's an alarm. It's a silent alarm for people that can't hear. Oh. This is my apartment. All right, I'm coming. Oh god. Oh. <gasps> is it Elena? Clint. Thanks for Elena. Oh. Um, Ah! Who the hell am I fighting then? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> My ain't playing no games. Ooh! Ooh. Oh! Oh, the action is oh. so good. Yeah, those are widow things. Nope. <laughs> 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 Now's not the time for a flashback. Oh. did not realize we would be getting like Yelena versus Echo. Take off the mask, girl. Take off the mask. Ooh. <laughs> we saw the blonde. Ah! Serve. Serve. Oh my god. He's there. 
face. Oh my god. Okay, we got we got one. We got one. We're okay. You're not my partner. Do you understand that? You never were. Who? Go home, Jamie. It's over. Now if there's no post credit scene. No time to time to scrub these credits. There's Take no post credit scene. There's not. <laughs> I'm sick to my fucking stomach right now. <laughs> Listen, Anna. <laughs> this said, let me give you a hand and I'm going to keep it moving. <laughs> Vincent D'Onofrio said, peace. I'm so tired of... I... <laughs> like, Listen. why would he say that about Charlie Cox and then Vincent D'Onofrio being on Twitter, being a little troll? Like... <laughs> He was just happy to to be back last week. I'm so sick right now. Come fight him literally in your walls. Like, <laughs> oh my kidding. god! Well, that was episode four of Hawkeye, <laughs> and we did get Yelena. She's here. She has arrived in glorious fashion. Like I said I didn't know that we were gonna get uh, Yelena versus Maya. Kind of inadvertent face off uh they're both going for the same target and had to fight each other <laughs> as well as clint and kane <laughs> i loved the reveal though like yeah. it was just it was too good the little blonde moment the little braid and then like you said serving face when she turned around <laughs> we love it florence we love it girl except clint thinks she is hired and i mean i guess she kind of is but more recruited, I guess, is a better way. More of... given a tip and now out for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am a little bit curious, I guess. Has she figured out, Maya, that Clint is Ronan with this uh... Rolex and she's like investigating his family? Like, <laughs> she's coming know. for the fam? <laughs> she's taking notes on your children? <laughs> she's serious. She ain't playing? Want to know also serious? Wilson Fisk, but no. we we wouldn't know. We wouldn't uh, know. We don't know about that man. We, we haven't heard or seen a thing about that man. I'm so, <laughs> this series. I'm so sick right now. Like, I can't all week until episode five. That's all I'm going to be thinking about. It's just how, how bamboozled I've been this week. Because... Kevin Feige and Vincent D'Onofrio really were just playing my face. Like, and, I'm, and, and like the way they're going about it right now, story-wise, he's not really needed. So, I mean, it's realistic. They could just go. Like, that could be it. That was their little tease. They could just go the rest Say of the series. Please. They're over here talking about Vera Farmiga's boyfriend is the, the one running something else over here that is involved. Vera is still acting very suspicious. We may not get Fisk. It may just go up to to Maya, and that's as far up the chain as we got to go this uh, series. <laughs> Hannah, you in danger, girl? <laughs> I'm just saying this right now. If we don't get <laughs> Fisk by episode five, and I don't get Matt No Way Home, it's a wrap on me in the MCU. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. You got too much. <laughs> you got too much chances, Feige. Um, it's a wrap next on week. me being an MCU fan. I'm officially going to become one of those people on Twitter. It's make a break for Hannah next week. <laughs> we got episode five, and we got no way home. You got two opportunities next week, Feige, and Hannah is out for good. I'll be walking my happy ass out of the theater. <laughs> if I don't see Matt by the third act, I'm booking a plane ticket as soon as we get on Zoom. I'm going to be outside his door. <laughs> Poor Hannah could not even like relish in Flo showing up. She was so furious. She, <laughs> she couldn't even take in the pew of it all. She had to get, she was just angry. <laughs> Seeing red. <laughs> Not even like a hand, 
Hannah. There was not even that's, like that's why I'm the most. It wasn't even now. a sprinkle this episode of it. They gave you that one little that one little taste, and then they said, "Okay, that's it. That's your that's your taste of fisk for the for the rest They're of the sick show." In the fucking head, like truly. <laughs> that's all the teas y'all need moving forward. Okay, we get jail. <laughs> jail. That was our reaction to <laughs> episode four of Hawkeye. I hope it was you a good episode, it. guys. It was, it, it was good. Episode. The action was good. But <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos, Oop. including each and every one of our new Hawkeye reactions. Also, make sure you are following Hannah. Hannah, where can people find you? And see the rage unfold at rejected hand on twitter <laughs> I'm sure there's gonna be takes y'all there's, she has a whole list of drafts of Listen. tweets that were ready and ain't no <laughs> one going out so <laughs> i already tweeted I already tweeted, come and find you. <laughs> the rage has already begun. So head on over to her Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you thought of this episode. Do you think we're done with Fisk for the series? You think that was it? Or you think he's got to come at some point? How did you feel about uh, Miss Yelena's entrance? Let us know all of it on Twitter in the comments. <laughs> I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching. And... We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.